you folks. My name is Kevin Dosper. This is what was the same blog KDB. I'm here to provoke thought and move humanity just a little bit further. I completely forgot about one of the things I really wanted to be growing up. Kind of doing it right now though. <laughs> Thanks to you, um, journalist, want to be a reporter. Really <laughs> wanted to say, welcome to 60 Minutes. My name is Kevin Douglas Berg. And did I. <laughs> I always wanted to be in a situation where I was talking. Always wanted to be entertaining um always wanted to be sharing something you're like yeah you share way too much and i'm like i know <laughs> it is what it is what it is right um <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna go there um i always wanted to be completely honest with you promoting something, speaking of something in a way to create interest. Isn't that weird? I have gone full circle and now I'm doing this. And people might say, cause you're vain or narcissistic, whatever. Um, I truly enjoy this. I really absolutely enjoy the process. <clears throat> you know, I did something for Honda in the corporate news uh, for Marysville in November uh, 2023. No one's ever done it though in all of 40 years. Not a promo. Um, <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. And you know what's funny? Before that happened, I completely lost my shit. Because I was going through the hardest thing in my life. The hardest thing. But guess what? Lights, camera, action. Um, it, I got over it. I got over it. Complete mental breakdown, but I was there for the camera. What does that say about me and my personality? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And it's funny because when you're younger, you think, oh, in 20 years, it'll be like this. It'll be like this. And sometimes you're like, 20 years, I might not be here. 71, 72. I mean, my grandpa lived to be 99, but he didn't give a fuck about anything. Um, <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm very high stress, high worry, high um, emotional baggage. Um, so if you're looking out for a, a great person to... Okay, forget that. So where... What does that mean really to me? Well, it means I'd really like to do that retail job. I would do managing, I'd do training, I'd do sales. I would do stocking, I would do buying, purchasing. I really would like that job. I really would like that job because I've experienced all those things. I've been in all those roles. I guess it's true when they say what you like to do will show you where you want to be. Proofs in the pudding. If I get that job, and I hope I do, um, I think I'll be really good at it. I think I'd really enjoy it. I think I really would be challenged, but appreciate the challenge because I come with all this other experience. So how does working in retail <laughs> 
up relate to a journalism on 60 Minutes. It doesn't. It doesn't, but that's okay. That's fine. You gotta be happy with what you do. You gotta be happy each day doing what you have to do. And I know, I know, I know, a lot of people aren't happy at their jobs. I completely understand that. I understand, I, I feel for you, I understand it, I know, I've been there, done it. It, it's spirit killer. I hate to say it that way, but it is. It truly is. At Honda, I was the guy whistling in on Monday. I did not want to leave Honda because all my friends were there. So I thought. So I thought. That was my social connection to everything else. Because fucked up all this, unfortunately. Over and over and over again. Like I said, very sorry to that to those people. They gave everything and I was an ass. Jerk. Whatever you want to call it. As I get older, I really feel like I don't know how you go against the grain and do something you can't enjoy in one way or another. Enjoy in one way or another. You know, I was going to drive a truck. And I, I was just talking about that, how I had pride in that. I don't know if I could have done it. I got irritable bowel and migraines and all this other bullshit. But I felt pride in that. It was going to give me some kind of validation. I could do more than just IT. And when you find pride in something, and especially at my age, it is such, it's like going to a fountain of youth. To be honest with you, it's like going to a fountain of youth. That's why I got emotional in my promo. Reach for more. You can do more. Reach for more. You can do more. When you find something that enlivens you, that takes your spirit and brings it up, such as this, which has made me this much, and I don't even care. I enjoy this so much. I looked at it like... It was a match, like my matchbox cars I used to get out, or racetrack I used to get out, or Legos I used to get out. I enjoy this to that extent. I'm Kevin Dosper. This is what was it saying, Vlog KDB. Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate you. You're a life sender. You're a life saver. You really are. With that, we pray. Pray for everybody that has served, has served with PTSD. Pray for everybody in the hospital needing a better day. Pray for everybody outside the hospital needing a better day. Pray for all the medical field, all first responders, everybody in uniform. Um, excuse me. World peace, you and me. Let's move you forward. Thank you. Kevin out. Thank you.